Hi everyone, my name is Miri and welcome to my channel. So right now I am in the middle of the woods. Um, I'm currently in full swing for my summer job as a camp counselor. One video that goes around quite often is the what's in my bag tag. So I thought I would give it a twist and have you guys see a little what's in my bag camp counselor edition. So I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite spots in like all of camp and that would be this gazebo right here. Um, yeah, let's get started. So it is absolutely gorgeous, it is beautiful, it's my favorite place to come when I want to like unwind and take time to myself. But because I'm in the middle of the woods, you will hear background noises from birds, bugs, children on the beach, and the lighting is just gonna go in and out of whack for this whole thing. This might have been a mistake, but I'm just gonna keep going. So, um, let's look at what's in my backpack. So in case we wanna take a look at the backpack itself, here it is. Um, this is a bag that I actually got at Urban Outfitters on sale a couple years ago. And it was one of those drawstring bags, except the drawstring was really shitty, so I just took it out, I sewed in a zipper, I added some like stronger magnets for the clasps, and as usual, I painted everything on it. Item number one I am pulling out of the backpack would be this hat. And um, it's just a standard baseball hat, I got it while thrifting, and on the brim I actually wrote Swagmeister, and that's just a nickname from my first year at camp. Um, so there's you know, Swagmeister, on the brim I wrote Valse, it's the name of the camp, and on the back I just wrote Auf und. Um, so here's the yeah, hat, I can just crumple it up, throw it in my bag, so anytime it's super sunny and I just need to like throw it on to protect my head, just being super pale like me, you have to watch out for things like that. So, hat, baseball hat, there we go. Up next is a water bottle, pretty standard. This one I got for super cheap at like Walmart or Meyer for like $10 and all along the outside there is Star Wars like the classic Star Wars movie poster and I love Star Wars so it just kind of makes me smile um, and I got something that was super cheap that I could just throw away at the end of the summer because for the bug spray that we use out here it has to be like a really high percentage of DEET level to protect from ticks so and that just sorry I just keep looking to see if their kids coming because I'm not supposed to be speaking English because it's German language immersion. Uh, yeah, I got it cheap because the DEET really eats away at anything like paint based and can destroy water bottles. It's like anything decorative on the outside, so I just got it to throw it away. But stay hydrated. Okay, um, yeah. Up next is this <laughs> Ziploc baggie filled with bug spray, sunscreen, and deodorant. And that's just because, you know, sunscreen, bug spray are pretty standard camp things. Um, you just kind of, I can just grab it out of my backpack and apply it throughout the day if need be. Plus that way if like a kid needs sunscreen or bug spray and they don't have it on them, I can just let them use mine. And deodorant is just, because I don't always have time to run to and from the cabin and like the rest of camp throughout the day. Just deodorant's nice to have it like if you got like freshen up at noon. Um, but yeah, so I kept it in a Ziploc baggie so it doesn't spill. Because the water bottle spills every once in a while and it's just bad. So, Ziploc baggie. Um... Don't want ticks, don't want sunburns, don't want to smell bad. Yeah. <laughs> Up next is my little toiletry bag. And I got this at Joanne, F no, Hobby Lobby. And I just kind of painted it, added some elephants to it because they're my favorite animal. And in here, I keep some essentials. Um, I've got a powder foundation, again, to freshen up throughout the day. Uh, a hair tie. <laughs> I've got a little paper clip of <laughs> hand wipes that I stole from Buffalo Wild Wings and some band-aids in case of an emergency. I've also got a um, little cloth to clean my glasses and or sunglasses with, especially if you get like spray on like sunscreen on them, they can just get really gross and filmy. So it's just nice to have. And then I have my little obsession of various chapsticks and lip balms. Um, yeah, there we go. And I just like to keep everything all in one spot because stuff just gets really jumbled up in my backpack. And that way I don't have to worry about like rummaging around too much to find what I need. Up next is a bandana. I usually have a few of these just in my suitcase because, you know, it helps to like wipe sweat off, um, sun protection, cleaning up spills. This is really just a basic go-to for anything. And I got this again at Hobby Lobby and I just thought it was really cute and I loved the pattern. So... Bandana. Alright, oh, so up next I have another set of stuff in a baggie, and that would be a deck of cards. And these cards I actually picked up from the thrift store, 
and it was a complete two complete sets and they have just have these really cute like vintage flower patterns on them and I snag them just because throughout the day if the kids get bored I can just throw a deck of cards at them they can just play some games kill some time so it's just really useful to just have like on me just for fun um up next are breath mints and these are technically contraband like the kids aren't allowed to have any American type candy because it's a German immersion so I'm technically breaking the rules when I have these but if I'm like taking a nap in the middle of the day and like I can't get back to my cabin to brush my teeth then I just pop a breath mint and just call it good so so this next thing might seem kind of weird but it is a headlamp flashlight and I snag these because after the kids go to bed we have to do like rounds just to make sure no one's sneaking out so with this you can just kind of strap it to your head be super cool super trendy and you can just kind of flip the different light settings here on the side so, Ooh, ah <laughs> but yeah just nice little useful thing to have um this next thing seems kind of weird but um so the camp that i work at for more information is called concordia language villages and it's a based on a series of language and culture immersion camps and i personally work at the german village the german camp and so we have to wear name tags each kid picks out a name when they come into camp um, specific to that language and I just kept my own name because it's already German and I was kind of boring like that but usually I keep an extra um, name tag Namenschild as we call it in my backpack I have like 11 but I always forget them at the cabin when we're like running to breakfast so it's just good to have one just in case so um, here is one of mine and they're all on these little like circular pieces of wood um, and so I like to kind of make mine more artsy and personal so here is the front of one of them, um, just kind of an artsy style. And then the back, I tried to spell out my name in sign language, like a cartoon style. So, Namenschild. Last but not least, I have a pair of sunglasses. Usually I keep them in a hard case just to protect them. I lost it though somewhere. So for now, they're just kind of floating around in my backpack getting scratched up. But sunglasses, summer pretty self-explanatory. So that was that. Thank you for watching. The camera's internal battery heat sensors are going crazy, so this is going to like shut off any minute. But I just want to say thank you for watching. Yeah, what are you guys up to this summer? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, info's in the description box, and have a great day. Auf Wiedersehen!